Hi, thank you so much. I was a huge fan of the show. I grew up watching you. <laughs> thank you. I missed you. How are you? Congratulations! Thank you. How does it feel to be here at the premiere? So good. Like so exciting. Absolutely. Hi. Hi. I'm always Hi. Making, making jokes, and, and uh, I'll go up into the stands and try and make her laugh while she's working on a scene. How rude! The Rolling Stones uh, of sitcoms are back together. Isn't this crazy? I wound up living back in my old bedroom. We moved in here when I was five. Now here we are again. It's the circle of life. Oh, look, and there's Simba. You forgot two very important words. Have mercy. No. How rude. Cut it out. Do you ever think you'd be back doing a I, Full House remake? Not at all. Let me tell you, I mean, I, it's just one of those things that people talk about over the years, but it didn't actually think it was going to really happen. I mean, who does remakes? You know, it's a new world we live in where this kind of thing gets to happen. You were so young when you played Stephanie Tanner. Ago. How was it, like, channeling that character again? It was really fun, you know, and, and I think rarely do you get the opportunity to have, you know, a 20-year gap in, in a character and get to fill that in and, and what she's been doing, what she's been up to, and who she's become. You know, so it was really fun as an actor to get to go, okay, what? why has Stephanie become the person that she has? How was it playing the grandfather on the show? It was. That's the hardest character role. That's the hardest part is to play a grandfather, because I'm not one in real life. It's got the same great humor that the original had. Everyone can watch it with, with their kids, with their grandparents. I mean, it's a, it's a family show. The same spirit, it's the same vibe, it's the same house, it's the same actors, uh, but but it's different, you know, it's a different point of view. We have three women at the center of this show. I think fans are going to absolutely love the dynamic between Stephanie and Kimmy and DJ. I mean, the, the three girls on this show, we have so much fun, and I think people are gonna really, really love it. Favorite Full House episode? Uh, Stephanie crashing the car through the kitchen, for sure. I always say the last one. I loved when Steve got his first apartment, and I loved, the, I loved the, when Steve and DJ were making out in the cement truck and kicked the lever. The pilot. It was the first one. It was magic, you know, and, and it's tough to find that. And I knew we had something special. But we're holding hands right now. We are holding hands. Because we love each other. You guys are like family. You can really feel it. I know, it's But crazy. we are. I mean, I'm having so much fun, you know, to be standing on the carpet with people like Dave and Scott and Candace and Bob. I mean, it's just, it's mind-blowing and, and I'm thrilled. We're all still really good friends after all these years, so it was great to be together. It's cool for you because you've been a part of two things, obviously Aladdin and, this, and Full House, that have lived on. You know, the funny thing thing is Aladdin I feel like I knew would sort of be one of those things that stuck around forever. Full House I didn't know. I knew it was a very popular show at the time, but how many shows get to live on for decades, you know, and, and stay so popular with the fans. It's really cool. Dave, what's your best memory of, of uh, Candace growing up, would you say? You took me to my first hockey game, hockey which game? was Jet, the Jets and the Kings, the Winnipeg yes. Jets and the took Kings. took her to her first hockey game, introduced then, her to her husband. Yeah. No big deal there. <laughs> no big deal. I took Candace Cameron Bray to the um, Aladdin premiere 20-something years ago. Yeah, we were at work one day and I said, I got this thing tonight, you want to come? And so, this is not our first premiere. There's definitely a place for a show that families can watch together. You know, that that kind of programming disappeared and we're you know we think there's room for at least this show watch it if you were a full house fan but if, what are you but guys if talking you weren't about? we're saying Bob, how attractive you are you're in this kind so of lighting. good looking mm. <laughs> <laughs> i couldn't agree with you more let's go eat popcorn come we're on go eat popcorn. let's call michelle it's five in the morning in new york oh, voicemail oh, you, you got, got it dude, dude. <laughs>